Hello, I have the great pleasure today to be interviewing two of the most wonderful people and finest young actresses here at the festival, Severn Thompson and Sarah Topham. And they both play two of the young village people in Fuente Ovona. Respectively, Sarah plays Lorencia and Severn plays Pasquala. Of the different parts you've played, Sarah, here, Cordelia, Rosalind, um, how does Lorencia kind of fit in in that, that world? She's, these Spanish women are so, they're different than Shakespeare's women. They have a kind of a, a rootedness, a groundedness that is different. Their connection to the earth is different than with Shakespeare's women. Hmm. Um, but she certainly has Cordelia's integrity and she has Rosalind's heart and her sense of adventure. And Pasquala too, she's a great sort of, she's just a brave, they're brave, yeah. these women. Hmm. They're far, I mean, they're farmers, they, they, they live on the land, they're not removed in so many of the other yeah. characters in classical theater are. They don't have the, the idea that a, um, their dinner arrives on the plate from sort of heaven or something. They know that you kill that rabbit and then you skin it and you put it in a pot and you cook it and then you serve it in a wooden bowl. That's their, their view of life. They, they understand how the nitty gritty of life works. Fuente of Una is a real place where there was a it real is. incident mm -hmm. and it had a feudal warlord who basically was not too nice to the people there and he was the absolute law in a way in that part of the world. Yeah. And the town rises up. Why don't you take it from there? The, uh, the, well, sort of the catalyst for the big event in the, pl in the play is that Lorencia and Frondoso, who is her love interest in the play, they get married and the commander is very upset about this um, and he comes in and steals her away from the wedding and um, she manages to get away and get back to the town and basically provoke not only the men but also the women of the town to go after and kill this man or at least to die gloriously trying with honor um, and so they they do and then it kind of it's like it's a bit like Spartacus because the the king and queen send a judge to find out what should happen to these people who committed this crime and they all take credit for it they all say the village did it. In this case, you also have the translator, adapter of the work uh, as your director. Because it is a translation, it's not in the original language, it's nice to actually have a discussion, to be able to have a discussion with the playwright, who is our director, and say, this word might, it feels better for me. As you get to mm -hmm. know your character, you say, maybe I would say it more this way. And, and you can work with them. Or so going back to the Spanish and saying, can we talk about what that actual word is in the Spanish? What does it taste like? Mm -hmm. Because, like, sometimes like, when we were working on Don Juan, which was a translation from the French, you realize the word for heaven in French is ciel, which has a kind of bite to it. And heaven was soft. Mm -hmm. and it was hard to make it taste the same. And so that's been a lot of the exploration here, with the, is to make it taste the same as the Spanish. So what about love and lust? in this play. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got romantic love, you also have rape. You're under no illusions that this is a cruel world where people get beaten and killed for stealing a loaf of bread or for, you know, touching the, the gates of the commander or any mm -hmm. of that stuff for sure. And it's a world that reputation is very important, especially for young women. And you really feel that as well, that you may have passions, you may love or even lust after, uh, you know, in a nicer way than yes. a commander, but, but uh, you, you can't show it. There's this, always this battle going on of, of honor and, and how, how do you control yeah. the passions that they have as people. It, what you want and what you should. That that's sort of, right. Yeah. And then within that you've got this commander whose passion, whose lust is getting out of control and you see it grow until the town just has to stop. And he talks, I think it's the commander says at one point, I'm waiting for the moment when my rage will overcome my reason. And that's, you see that happen a bit to the villagers in the play, you know, mm -hmm. they stop. You'll see it in our clothes and, you know, by the third act, after you've killed a bunch of people, you're not so worried about wearing a fichu to cover up your neck. You know, it starts, everything starts to kind of, once the rules are broken, then what you want becomes more important than what you should. What process are you going through? On, on whatever levels to, to begin to understand what it must be like to be Spanish. Well, any play, you start to inhabit that world more and more, and it's hard to say what day it actually, you go yeah, into it. the world more, but it's, I can feel it, I can feel it happening with our research of, of Spain at that time and everything, and with the text. 
and the music, music, the music you know, the guitar yeah. music. One of the things we did as a the company, dance. yeah, yeah, was we watched these amazing. I cannot remember the name of the filmmaker, but they were made in the '70s. These flamenco films, and one of them is Blood Wedding, which is not Lope de Vega, but you know, it has that feeling. Okay, yeah. And you watch the way they move and their their carriage, and so that all kind of starts to come in from underneath. We hope, mm. um, with Nicola. Panton having done the dancing and trying to make these people who know how to dance in their lives rather than dancers and then that kind of informs a lot of what you do. Yeah, just in how you hold yourself, we would, you know, mm -hmm. holding yourself like this, do you look at the world differently when you're, yeah. you're up here? Yeah, when you're up here, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it feels different. Yeah. It sounds exciting. It's pretty mm -hmm. cool. So we're, we're, the sweep of it is, is really neat. We're looking forward to, we're at a place now in the process where we haven't had a chance to really explore the whole suite. We're doing lots of pieces of the puzzle, so I think we're all excited to see what the whole suite informs us of and where we have to go next. You know what? We are excited too about looking forward to seeing that whole suite. Sarah, Severn, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks.